Exodus 24. And the children of Israel sighed because of the labor, and they cried, and their cry came up unto God because of the labor. And God heard their groaning. All the sighs were not because they were lacking anything, they lacked only one thing, meaning they did not wish for any luxuries or payment. Their only lack, for which they felt pain and suffering, was that of not being able to do anything for the Creator. In other words, they wished that they would have a desire to give contentment to, to the Creator and not to themselves, but they couldn't, and this afflicted them. Question. If the Creator did not break up one desire, this one desire, into many fragments, many different desires, how could we how could we ever come to bestow contentment to work for the sake of the heavens? Is there any other way to reach bestowal for the sake of the heavens if the Creator did not break apart the vessel, did not create the evil inclination and break it, and by that give us the, the ability to connect it together with His help? with this up in such a way where we discover the evil and then he helps to the extent that we request we we request it it's not uh, it's not sufficient to just discover it if he didn't shatter adam harishon how could we serve the creator there would be no friends no world no worlds no nothing directly towards the creator how could we work do you have any advice who can advise the creator what to do but describe it that, or depict it that there's no choice, only this way you can bring the created being to the love of the creator to equivalent form on behalf of the creator love is love appears hmm? anyone has an advice? you? Well, I believe you do Go ahead. Advice. Why not, to begin with, develop the consciousness, if the Creator can do everything, develop the consciousness to begin with, to achieve equivalence of form? Why do we need the whole breakage and everything? Good. That's a question for everyone. Repeat it. Again, to, be, to begin with, the fact that there's a shattering, uh, we can say that, suppose that's a must, but why does this created being in this shattered situation, why not give him the awareness about the consciousness, the awareness of equivalence of form, to be like him? How to reach equivalence of form with the creator. If the creator being would be there, well, why not? Why did the Creator take us through thousands of years of, of corporeal advancement, then spiritual, when wars and everything? This way, each one is born. He knows what he has to do. He goes and he does. He goes and he does it. Right? Yeah. What's bad about that? Please tell me. Meaning, you're revoking the point of scrutiny, the point of choice. How is that possible? If we, what could happen? What could have happened if we were born without this point of choice? Now we're certain we have the thought, the intention, the force. We have the inner software. How we should reach equivalence or identification with a creator. I mean, the question is more profound. What do we gain from the, the, all the falls, all the, the times we curse everything, we meet through wars between us and everything else? So what's the, the profit here through the, the sufferings we go through? 
especially you can see it over the people of Israel with all their history. In this nation, this point of scrutiny has to be clarified, especially. You're right. Meaning the question is, what's so good about this choice without which we cannot reach complete equivalence with the Creator? That's, a, that's not a simple question at all. You have an answer? Ah, you have another question? No, we'll wait. <laughs> 